Hey guys, welcome and thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to show you my Halloween mini album I made. And I don't like using a lot of embellishments. As you can tell, my, you know, by the time you stick your photos in and everything, it's already going to be too big and I didn't want it that big. So I don't use embellishments that often. So this is my Halloween one. It's just bats. I got Martha Stewart paper uh, to do that. I think the spine is about two inches or so and so am I opening it upside down let's try that again okay I'll try it this way all right now that, that is the back I'm doing it right okay this is the first page with the snake up here and then the spider web here each page also has the pullout mat I just leave it black black on one side and put the paper on the other side and it goes right in there like so so I left these two plain and you'll see why because the rest of the book is thick as it is and then that's plain too and then this one here it opens up like so so you could put you know pictures here you could journal on those sides and it's magnetized you can hear the little thing and another map and then it opens up I left that plain because I love this paper it was so so awesome and then this one opens up this one opens up like this one of those cards see that I just added some uh, ribbon and then so it's a pop and twist card like that I thought that was cool you could add your pictures everywhere in there and another photo mat and then I left that blank always on this side I leave blank because then this side has all the stuff and then it opens up like that and like that and then this opens up like this and then these open up like that and then it just opens up like this and then this opens up and that opens up get it in the camera here and then this opens up like that so you have all these spots this closes here and this closes here this goes here and that goes there and it's magnetized right here so it stays put and then on this page look how thick this page is there's still a photo mat here so it's already thick this page is thick and let's look at the gussets the gussets on each of them are are, are thick enough so if you have it more bigger, then it's easier. And look at the pages, they lie flat. On this side, I just put a little belly band here with ribbon. So you just tuck it in. And then here I used um, this, I think it's by Recollections. It's just ribbon, wired ribbon. And I thought it was cute. And I just tuck in my little photo mats. I didn't uh, put paper on them. I ran out of paper for sure. I ran out of paper on this album. This I just left blank again, and um, this is the last page. Let's see if I can open this page properly. It goes like this, and then it goes like this again. And then this goes down, and then this goes up. And then you have a little pocket here, and you have a tuck spot here. So you can keep this in here and put a little picture right there, okay? And then it just closes back up like that. And then this side is just a pocket here. All right, and then it opens up here. And then this opens up again, like that. And then these open up like this. And I, I just left it all blank. And then this opens here and it opens on this side and opens here and opens here again I left it all blank and then you have another photo mat thing here and it closes up there so this is all one page again so it's like one of those cards that opens up and opens up and opens up a big card and then there's the back page just left the bank and I, I put the snakes in the back because the front had the snake here so I thought the back should have a snake too and that is the whole album. It is thick. <laughs> Until I add all my other stuff in there, my pictures and stuff, it'll be just like about this big. 
So it's a pretty good album to have and make. So guys, that's my Halloween mini album. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time.